This simple flying video was made possible by Surfshark, the best VPN available for frequent flyers. As a viewer, you can get 83% off and one month extra for free using code SIMPLE at the link in the description below. What happened to the Iron Maiden Boeing 747? Did you know that the band Iron Maiden had its own Boeing 747 for a 2016 world tour? But where did this aircraft come from and where did it go? Let's explore the special Boeing 747 aptly named Ed Force One. The story of the Iron Maiden Boeing 747 actually begins far before they came to acquire the aircraft. The plane, a Boeing 747-400, began its illustrious life as a commercial passenger aircraft for Air France as FGITH in 2003. By the end of its run, the aircraft was configured with only two classes, carrying 432 passengers. Business was in the nose of the plane in a 2-2-2 configuration, lacking many of the features that you'd expect today, such as direct aisle access and privacy. The seats were also not lie flat and they only reclined, a feature that would be unacceptable in today's aircraft. The rest of the bottom deck of the aircraft has economy seats in a 3-4-3 configuration, with around 32 inches of pitch. Upstairs, there were several rows of economy seats in a 3-3 configuration, with 34 inches of pitch, a precursor to premium economy, if you will. The aircraft operated for Air France for over a decade, finally being stored and retired in 2015. In 2016, the aircraft was bought by an aircraft charter company, Air Atlanta Icelandic, for private hires. The band Iron Maiden was looking for a special aircraft to use on their tour to transport all of their stage gear, show materials, as well as the band and crew members. Normally, a Boeing 737 would suffice, but as this was one of the biggest shows in the world, they needed extra cargo capacity. The Boeing 747 was selected in February 2016 and repainted in a special Iron Maiden livery. Nicknamed Ed Force One after the band's mascot, Eddie, seats were retrimmed in an all-black cloth, complete with branded headrest covers for the crew members that flew with Iron Maiden on the tour. Even the contracted crew had smart branded Ed Force One neck scarves for the flights. Interestingly, the band's lead singer, Bruce Dickinson, so happened to be a licensed Boeing 747 pilot. As such, he flew most of the journeys conducted on Ed Force One during the 17-month tour. The aircraft was specially modified to carry the 10,000 kilograms of equipment required by the group for their massive world tour. Predictably, the combination of a legendary rocker at the controls and Queen of the Skies herself pretty much guaranteed a huge crowd at the airports to witness every takeoff and landing the aircraft ever made. The band even set up a dedicated spotters page for fans to share photos of the incredible aircraft. VPNs have exploded in popularity over the last few years as they allow you to disguise yourself online. Navigate the web securely and safely while having the ability to change your browsing location. It's an invaluable tool for anyone that loves to fly. Before we continue, I'd like to mention a few reasons why we love Surfshark. Stay safe while using public Wi-Fi whilst you travel. Protect yourself from data theft, tracking, surveillance and commercial targeting. You can change which country you're accessing the internet from to access and unblock content such as your favourite TV shows and films that are only available in your home country. Did you know flight prices change from country to country for the exact same routes? With Surfshark, you can check the prices for the same route whilst browsing different countries and score a great deal every time. What's even better is that Surfshark is the only VPN to offer one account to use on an unlimited number of devices. Everyone likes a free trial flight, so why not give Surfshark a go? Use the code SIMPLE to get 83% off plus one extra month for free. Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk to try it out for yourself. The link to sign up is in the description below. Now, back to the video. The aircraft would be flown around the world, visiting places as far away as New Zealand, Canada, Tokyo, Brazil, and more. In Chile, the aircraft actually struck a towing truck on the tarmac and had two of its GE engines damaged. These had to be replaced and the aircraft was back in the air in 10 days. Overall, the aircraft flew the band on tour from March 2016 to June 2016. After the tour was complete, the Boeing 747 was flown back to Iceland for further chartering. It was leased out to several small private charters, such as taking 350 Icelandic football fans to Marseille for an Iceland-Hungary match. 
the plane was kept in its existing livery for this trip. Following this, the aircraft was sent back and lost its iconic Iron Maiden Ed Force One paint scheme. It was then leased to Saudi Arabian Airlines in August 2016 for regular passenger use. As of today, the aircraft is still in rotation and flying for the airline. If you really want to fly on the same aircraft that took Iron Maiden around the world, then you can book a ticket on it today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Simple Flying channel and be sure to click the notification bell.